This system comprises of three pads. You have three springs, actually four springs. One, this spring opens this pad. This spring behind here opens this pad. This spring here opens this pad. And then there's a flat spring back here that closes this. So it it is closing this right here. So the way this is supposed to work is when you press the thumb key, it's independent. It closes this front pad. We're not going to worry about that right now. When you just press the spatula key, it opens this pad. You know, this spring, right, this flat spring is holding this down and holding this down. Let's talk about how these springs work together. They do work together, so if one of them is out of balance, it throws this, this entire system off. So you have round spring, round, or needle spring, needle spring, needle spring, flat spring. So let's talk about this spring. This spring down here, it just holds this pad open. Just needs to be strong enough to open that pad. That's its job. <clears throat> now let's go to this spring, this needle spring right here. Its job is to try and open this. This spring right here, its job is to try and open this. This flat spring under here, its job is to not allow those two springs to open the pads. So these two needle springs are trying to open this. This flat spring is closing these two pads. When you press down on this, it opens this. Well, why? Why is it not opening this one too? Because this main job is to close these down. It's because these two springs here are tensioned differently. This spring is lighter than this spring. And because of this fulcrum, this spring transfers its energy to hold this one down. So this spring is overriding this spring at this point because of this fulcrum. See how when there's no, when this raises up, it opens this pad, and because of this fulcrum, closes this pad. So this spring has to be stronger than this spring. So to review, this spring has to be stronger than this spring. This spring just has to be strong enough to open this pad. That's, that's all it has to do. This spring, however, has to be strong enough to close both of these pads. So that is how this is supposed to work. Now, let's, let's take a scenario here. Because I would say a lot of problems that I see when I see these bass clarinets, when they come in and they're having problems, it's because of this is not balanced. Let's take a scenario where this pad gets sticky. And it does get sticky because it's the first open pad. It's the first pad to collect moisture. It's right close to the mouthpiece. So it collects a lot of junk. So, and this one actually is a little bit sticky. So if you're a band director or, you know, a player, and this is being sticky... Logic says, well, if that spring is not strong enough to open this, then let's let's make this spring stronger by bending it forward a little bit. There. It's not sticky anymore. I fixed the problem. Well, the problem is now this spring is more closely as strong as this spring. And what happens is this spring is still strong enough to hold them both down. But let's, when you open, when you press the spatula key, see how they both open? Because this spring no longer is able to override this spring. Common, common problem 
uh, that I see. So what you have to do is you have to just take some of the tension off there. There. That's now, that's now working properly. So what you, ha what you have to do, address the problem. Either change this pad. I'm going to clean the pad. Put some pad cleaning fluid on that. It's better. Um, sometimes you can clean and clean and clean, and it still has a stick stick to it. Because sometimes the actual coating on the pad will stick. So in that case, we'll just change that pad out. And it also goes to note that I do not like a hard pad in this. I do not like cork pads. I do not like synthetic pads. Cork pads are just too hard. It has to have some kind of sponginess to it. Um, just because this system is so finicky, um, there needs to be some sponginess to it. Uh, and then the synthetic pads, I, I particularly don't like it because they're too soft um, and they will div it in um, and sink too far down under constant spring pressure. And that's the only reason I don't like it. Um, they last a long time. It's just for this particular pad. I don't like it. I like a leather pad That has a, just a little bit of give but they it, it won't continue to sink under spring pressure like a synthetic So That's one issue I see a lot The second issue is Has to do with this fulcrum see how this raises up and it only needs to raise up just enough for this pad to be fully open. What I see is a lot of times this spatula key will either lose a cork, lose the, the cork, the key cork underneath and the travel will become too great. This goes up too far where this fulcrum no longer works because it's it's going too high so you see how it will lift this pad up when you when you press this spatula key there should be no movement right here and you see it's very obvious there's movement and this is the simplest fix is you just i this is the way i do it i well, if it's it's the cork over here, just replace the key, key cork, and it, it, you know it'll fix the problem. The other thing is, um, when there is a key cork, it's you just have to bend it back, and it doesn't take much. There, the travel is is going as high as it should. It's it's not going too high where this fulcrum, you know, this fulcrum still works. It's still holding. There's no movement here. Now, this is an issue that the manufacturers have tried to resolve by adding another mechanism because this happens a lot and what they have done is they have put a key over here it's actually another fulcrum that is independent so that if this goes too high this one will override it and not allow this to move so, recap, these springs have to be balanced. This one needs to be the weakest spring. This has to be stronger than this. This spring down here has to be stronger than both of them. This overrides these two, this overrides this one. And this one, all this has to be strong enough is to open that key. Now, one thing we didn't talk about is when you're holding the spatula key down 
and you press this key down, um, these two pads have to seal together, meaning this has to touch the tone hole the same as this. Um, and the way that you adjust that is that adjustment screw. And the way I check it is I know a lot of people will use a light to check. I don't like using a light on a bass clarinet because it's difficult because of the way the tone holes are countersunk. It's difficult to see all the way around the pad. And if I can't see all the way around the pad, guarantee you that the leak that's happening is going to be that the part that I can't see. So what I do is I use a feeler gauge. And then if I need to adjust it, adjust it right here. And that will move that pad up or down depending on where you need it to go. there, then that system is fully adjusted and it works properly.